Hi, this is Deanna at Ferns Frills, and I wanted to show you a mini that I just finished. My grandson um, started school and he loves Harry Potter, so I decided to make him a Harry Potter book for Christmas. And as you can see, it's Hogwarts Express, and I don't know, you'd have to be a Harry Potter fan to remember that there's a book that he has in the um, in the book. He has one of his school books, one of the years, is a monster book. And it has to be shut down with the belt around it or it will bite you and attack you. So they always have to keep it closed. And so I got this belt and it was the finishing touch and I really like it. It doesn't it doesn't match, it doesn't, it's just, but it works with this. The only thing that I have not finished on this mini is I am going to get, I couldn't find them, um, I'm going to get, but I have the places to put them right here, um, I'm going to get some small pictures of Harry, Hermione, and Ron, and I'm going to put them on the ends of these as charms on the end of here. When you open this, and this, this is the front, and I've got chain and and this is the back. It just says Harry Potter. It's got his wand with a few stars coming out of it and his glasses down there. And when you open this up, you can see that you have the Hogwarts Express train there. And what I did was I built it up um, rather than pop dots because it was so big I just put two layers of chipboard underneath it. I'm uh, not sure if you can see that or not um, but I put two layers of chipboard underneath there to make it stand out and it, it does really nice. And then you open it up and the mini's inside. So we'll just pull it out. It was a little bit of a challenge because the spine of this book, of this box that I got at Michael's and altered, is round. And um, that's kind of, it's hard for the binding. I don't know if you can see it or not. Right here on the um, spine of the book. It says CG because my grandson's name is Christian Gravel. So I've got uh, CG on there for him. Okay. So this is the mini. And you have to uh, have a belly band on it because you can't get it out of the thing because of the, of the round spine. You have to have something to grab a hold of and pull it up. So that's what I used for that. I just did this. This, all the frames in the album are working frames, so we can put a picture of Christian in there. Um, this is the front, and it says school days. It's got Harry Potter and his books and a diploma over here. Real simple. The wand, again with the stars coming out. And you open it up, and it has on this page, it's got some scroll work that I'm going to put um, Christian's name on, and then these two um, working frames again. And then it's a hybrid album. Um, <laughs> what I mean by that is, is it it is um, paper bags and chipboard, because I wanted the paper bags to actually open so that because I know my daughter-in-law and my daughter-in-law my daughter and my son-in-law aren't going to want to sit there and um, you know put stuff in here every time they get pictures what they're going to do is they're going to stuff them in here and later on at different times then they can go back and and do it and I wanted them to be big enough so I didn't want to um, tape the gussets together so they're actually paper bags you know they actually open up and can get bigger and so 
And as you can see, it's got the Hogwarts emblem there. And each one of the, um, there's only four pages, but they hold a lot, you'll see. Um, we've got just a photo mat journaling tag here that says Hufflepuff. I'm not sure that you can see that, but anyway, it's Hufflepuff. Each, each um, page is a house of Hogwarts. Um, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and, and Gryffindor. And they each have the emblem of their house on each paper bag. This is a um, trifold, and it's got um, photo mats. And these are, you can put pictures behind them, and then some journaling spots, the photo mats on there. And that's what goes in this first one. Really, 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 really simple. Didn't do a lot of embossing and stuff. Inside each one of the um, tags, I am going to put some um, fiber on the on these. I just didn't have them, and I did, I wanted to show you guys. So. Um, on the tags and on these so that they'll know people know they're in there but like this is the Hufflepuff tag and it's a great big photo mat and on the back we've got uh, magical transportation and the Nimbus 2000 broom some journaling lines on there there are two tags like that in each one of these bags I'm not going to take them out every time because they're all the same. Uh, <laughs> except they're for their own houses. Okay, then you turn the bag over and it becomes, and I've put chipboard on the back because it's another page pulling out. So this page pulls out. And this is the Daily Profit page. And this is, again, a working frame and a photo mat over there. And, of course, the photo mat's on the front. And then... Over here, you've got your um, your two tags with journaling spots. Inside is the Ravenclaw the Ravenclaw um, tag, and then you flip it over, and it becomes another page. And this one is really cool because. It's, if you can see the whole thing, it's the owl post. And I just cut apart, cut apart the papers that they had for that. This is the working frame with the little owl. And if you can see here, this is a, a little book. And it's got um, tags. And this is a, an owl that says owl post. And it goes in that first one. And just open that up and it becomes, you've got a photo mat and a pocket with a tag and a photo mat and a pocket with a tag and then the other side has the same. And over here on this one, of course you've got your two tags in there with journaling spots and stuff. And this one was really cool. I don't know if you can see it, but of course you've got the um, Slytherin logo here and you've got the magic potions thing. And then these are magic potions and this is magic potions and right here I have drips and I what I did was I put um, what's it called hot glue I put drips of hot glue on there and then colored them with alcohol ink so it looks like that red potion is coming out of the bottle into the um, potions pot. So I thought that was pretty cool.